everyone, it's Julie. And if you've been following my blog or following my channel, then you know that I've been using different methods to try and treat rosacea. And um, I did a small post on my blog where I mentioned that I had tried to use uh, C. buckthorn products in the past, and that generated quite a few questions. So I thought I would just cover it just briefly in a little video here, just to show you what I've tried. Um, when I first tried it, um, I used it from a, a company called SBT, as in standing for C. buckthorn, and um, they had an actual little kit. Um, I'll put a, if I can figure out how to do it, I'll put a picture up on the screen to show you what that kit looked like. Um, I don't have it now, but I did have a picture of it at the time. And so um, I don't have all the products left over. For example, it came with um, capsules with that you take internally. Um, you had to take those several times a day. Um, it came with a bottle of the seed buckthorn seed oil and with the um, berry bar. It's a cleansing bar that you're supposed to use on your face to wash. Um, so I do have a few of those pieces um, that I have not left over from when I used it because I used it like three or four years ago, but um, I have since repurchased some of the items, so um, I can talk about them. The When it came to the capsules, I have no idea whether or not they worked. Um, they basically they were just little capsules that you take kind of like vitamins or um, vitamin E or like any of those other ones. They actually look kind of like the little vitamin E capsules and um, they're like gel caps and I took them, there was enough in the package for a month. I have absolutely no idea whether or not they worked because I was starting a full system at the time. Um, I didn't, after I stopped using them, I didn't notice any difference in my skin. So maybe they were doing something amazing. Maybe they weren't. Maybe there wasn't enough time to see the difference. Because a lot of things, normally a lot of natural skin care, especially taken internally, it takes around three months for a difference. So um, I can't really say whether or not that worked. Um, the berry bar, I actually have one. This is what it looks like. And um, so it's basically, it's a cleansing bar that has um, sea buckthorn in it. And um, I, this was probably my least favorite part of the, of the package. I got all gung-ho about it and bought a whole pile of it because I thought that it was really going to work. So that's why I actually have this left over. Um, and that's why it isn't opened. It's, um, I found it left a weird, like it left a, coating feeling on my hands and maybe that is really good for you. I felt it on my face too. Maybe that's really good for you but it felt tight at the same time and it felt like there was some, it almost felt like there was a waxy something that just never came off. I could not stand that so um, basically I used this for the month. Well not this bar, I used the bar that I had for the month. Then I stopped using it and I have this extra that I just never used after that. So this is probably badly expired. Um, I just kept it for the sake of photographing it and <laughs> using it for this video. Um, next, they, the uh, seed oil. This was actually my favorite part of it. Um, I found this very, very soothing. Um, it says it's sea buckthorn seed oil. It's 100% pure, so that's all that's in it. Um, all it says for to use pour to pour. Hold bottle vertically until oil starts to drip. Apply to fingertips and then gently massage. Um, oil into affected areas. will fully absorb in a few minutes. That's actually what I found happened. So you, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it all in my hand. So that kind of stuff that looks like wood oil. <laughs> it smells like wood oil too, in case you're wondering. That is exactly what it smells like. If you ever took shop class and you put that oil on the, uh, the your wooden project once it's done, this is that's exactly what this smells like. And at first that really, I'm just going to rub this in because it's actually really good for your skin, but um, at first that bothered me a lot. Um, all I could smell all the time was this kind of wood oily smell on my face. And um, that just drove me crazy. After a few days, though, I couldn't smell it anymore. It does, you get used to it. Um, if you put another product on over top of it, it makes that smell go away um, anyway. It just, it's covered up by the other product. It's not a problem. Um, I did find this very soothing. I found this great in the winter time. When I put it on my skin, my, like, it stayed soft because I get a scaly kind of feeling around the edges of my skin, no matter, like, most moisturizers just can't stand up to how 
very dry my skin gets, but it did um, really moisturize well. It does It does say that you have to wait a few minutes for it to sink in. That is absolutely true. At first, you're just going, oh great, my face is going to feel oily forever. It does sink in and it doesn't feel oily. My main problem with this and one of the two reasons that I stopped using it was that um, I have very, 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 my natural skin tone is very white. It is very, I mean, I don't mean white as in Caucasian. I mean white as in a ghost, as in a piece of white paper. I look pallid. That's my natural skin color. And um, when I rubbed this in, I actually turned orange. Um, it does have a very dramatic orange color to it. And on me, I looked like I had worn, I was wearing really bad fake tanner. And I used this for about a year, so for about a year I looked like I had bad fake tanner on. Um, that was one thing that um, made me want to stop using it over time. The other thing was that um, while my skin did react very, very well to this at first, um, I started using it just before the winter, then I went a whole summer with it, and then as the winter was approaching again, it started flushing my face. Every time I applied it, I would get all the little pimply bumps, and I could feel just the heat rising under it. It felt like I was sealing in the heat, and it just, it was just radiating through the, the oil itself. I don't know why my skin just decided it didn't like it, but it didn't. It stopped liking it. It was amazing at first, and then it wasn't good anymore at all. So, um, I looked like a pumpkin, and then it wasn't working anymore. So finally I stopped using it, which is a shame because honestly, this company is incredible and their customer service is fantastic. So I loved supporting them and I loved buying their products, but it just stopped working over time for me. I know that in other cases, this still has worked. It has worked year after year after year. So if you are looking for something and you're looking for something all natural, it's worth trying um, if you haven't found anything, but um, it works for some, just like every rosacea product and every rosacea therapy, it works for some people, it doesn't work for some people. So, um, the last product, uh, Sea Buckthorn product that I've tried is this one. And it is the um, SBT Sea Buckthorn Soothing Self. Uh, cannot get it open. <laughs> there we go. It looks like this. This is, I mean, partially used, obviously. Um, this is the only one of the products that I'm still using, and I absolutely love it. I use it exclusively in the wintertime, and um, I just apply it to the areas of my face that are affected. This actually tells you to, um, it says it's an excellent all-natural treatment for red and flame skin. The cooling protects the skin from loss of vital moisture while our pure oils nourish and heal. Apply at night or when experi experiencing the discomfort of a rosacea flush. That's how it's supposed to be used. That's not how I use it. So um, I'll just put this the right way around. Um, if you do want to use it and you're looking for something to put on for a rosacea flush or you're looking for something nice and cooling and healing overnight, then you can try it according to the directions. Um, I have had absolutely no luck with this using it that way at any point. Even when the other Sea Buckthorn products were working for me, this didn't work that way. It was too thick, it was too greasy, no matter how little I put on, um, it, it just, um, I could just feel that my skin was being irritated and unhappy with it. However, in the winter time, when the weather is really cold and really dry outside, if I put this on immediately before going out, and I go all around and I do my thing, or I exercise, or I walk the dog, because I walk dogs every morning, um, if I do that, this protects my skin very, very well, and I have no reaction to the dryness or the cold, and I don't react to this, provided that as soon as I come back in again, I wash this off. So this is what I, instead of putting on a treatment or a moisturizer or anything, I wash my face, I put this on. Then I go out and do my thing in the, in the cold, and then I come back in and I take this back off again, and then I use my, my skincare routine as usual. And this is wonderful for that, especially because I have a hard time pulling up a scarf because I wear glasses and that fog, you know, if, if you live in a cold place, you know that if you wear glasses and you put on a scarf and then you breathe, it fogs your glasses every time you exhale and it's very frustrating. So this is great for protecting my face against the cold. And that is my full experience with Sea Buckthorn products. Um, I would say... Speak to your doctor or dermatologist if you're curious about them, but in my experience, they're worth trying out. 
because I do believe that for some people that is a really great answer and a great treatment. For me, it was temporarily. Some products worked, some didn't, and some I have absolutely no idea. So I just, I hope this video is helpful to you. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you would like to see future videos like this, um, such as uh, the progress that I'm making with other products, other product reviews, and with red light therapy and amber light therapy, then please subscribe. And I guess that's everything. <laughs> See you next time.